Alright guys, so today we're going to go over a position that's uh, it's kind of different. Um, I started doing this with my students playing around and you know we didn't really have a name for it so my students named it the WTF. You can guess what that stands for because when I would do it they'd be like what the... and so the name kind of stuck. It's a pretty interesting position. Some of you may have seen it, maybe you haven't, but it's uh, try to understand that what I'm showing here is not a, not just a move. I'm showing a concept. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, an idea to to have the right kind of control to create the reaction that you're gonna see here in a moment. So first thing, it, we're starting from the reverse crucifix, or crucifix from side control. Excuse me, and. I'm going to show you the way I set it up. There's a couple ways you can do it. And any way you get there is fine. But when you get there, let's look at some other submissions, you know. And this is just something to, to get you moving, you know. And it's it's an advanced technique, I'm not going to lie. Um, it, it, it's something I came up with just, you know, training, playing the ball with uh, with my students. So, uh, let's see if, uh, see what you think. All right, lay down. This one. So, I want you to head this one. All right, ready. Right Slightly. Okay. So we're inside control here, and the first order of business is to isolate this arm. So I have a couple ways I can do it. You know, I, I like this heavy side control, hip to hip contact, and I control the elbow when I'm breaking down here, and then when I'm breaking down here, bring my knee through. That's one way. Another way I like to do it is, you know, I just kind of insert my knee to this position, and I'm going to roll or shift my weight this way, and when I do it. Trap the arm. That's the way I like to do it. So very simple and it's kind of sneaky. Now the arm is trapped. Okay? So let's do that again so you can see. So it can be here, press it down. This is the like you call it the caveman way. Because you know you're just kind of using some strength there, using some pressure. Or you can finesse it. So when I do that, I'm going to just position my hips back and my knee through. Grab and I pinch the knees together, lock them. Now, this is what I was talking to you about. The way I create the reaction is the positioning of the hand. It's like a it's like a kimura, so I want to get the hand in the position to already do this. So I grab the wrist. And I grab the wrist, I pull it close, see how it's already bending his arm down this way. His elbow is here. So it's already I'm already setting up the Kamora. And I'm not really using this to finish, I'm using this to roll in this way. Alright? So when I do this, the hand positioning, I lock it in like a, like a holster, holster in the gun, like a moment. Okay? And from here, if, if my arm is trapped, I walk it up. Pull my arm out. I don't want him to lock up my arm. Okay? And then I put my hand down for base, and my drag. My knee across here. And look at his arm. See how it's starting to bend? And I roll here. Look, I'm sitting on his arm. Let's try. I have a few submissions here. He's not going anywhere. Usually, I'm right in for the collar choke. So as soon as I get to this position, I'm right here. And it's done. I have a couple options here. I can roll straight through to reverse crucifix now. And same thing. Get the collar, get the choke, finish here. So, and then the last submission, which is it's kind of fun, it's, uh, it's interesting, it's like a triangle arm bar shoulder lock. So here, the knee in, make the transition, right here, control the wrist, that's very important. Bring your hand out for base, and I breathe, look, I bring my body, drag, look, he's going to turn. You're dragging a, a shin across his face, but this arm is connected. I go here, roll, and look, my leg, I'm sitting on his arm, it's bent back here, if you can come around here, I'm sitting on his arm, he's not going anywhere, and it's bent right here. So now when I sit back, this leg pinches right here on the neck, and then I control the arm. I sit back, roll, lock the triangle, push him away. As I'm doing that, I'm still controlling the wrist. I control the wrist, I turn his 
wrist this way and bring it to my body. And do it very slow, guys, because this hurts. It's very painful. And it, look, even a triangle, too. So, just a couple of options there. We'll do it one more time, nice and slow, so you can kind of see what we're, how the rotation is. And we'll just start from the, the crucifix. So here, hands here, no, right here. So, face, knee, lock it, find the arm, sit back, lock the triangle, heel his arm, and he's already tapping. So, if you have a flexible vibrator, just bring it high, turn the wrist, boom. Really stretches out the shoulder and the pec and still the triangle. So, that's one of uh, my crazy positions, known as the WTF now. So that's the Performance MMA Tip of the Week. Hope you enjoyed.